Hello everyone, it's Karen here from tuppenscolour.co.uk. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this time I'm going to be making one of these favour boxes, uh, which would be very nice for a wedding. Now, I first demonstrated this self-closing box a few months ago, and it's proved very popular. Uh, so this time uh, I'm going to be making the bride version today, and I want to explain how I resize these boxes. So if you stick with me, we'll get started. I'd like to uh, begin by talking about the proportions of the box when you're resizing them. Now, the box has got three sections in either direction. So we've got what I want to call the closure, the body of the box, and the base, which will go in the landscape direction. And in the portrait direction, we have the front, the back, and the adhesive strip. Now, the front and the back are equal and they can be any length that you want, uh, any size that will fit the piece of card that you're using that will allow you to leave about half an inch over for the adhesive strip. Um, this part, the closure, that can be any size and you can shape it any way you want. Uh, I've got a couple here that, um, that I've been making and as you can see that one's got a, a very deep closure and that one I've even shaped it into into the form of a star. Uh, the body also can be any depth you like. So again, on this box, it's a very long, thin box. Can you see that? So let's go ahead and make the bride version of the box. So I want my box to be three inches along the closure uh, and three inches high in the body. So I've cut my piece of Whisper White card to six and a half inches by five inches and you can get two of these out of one sheet of A4 card. So I'm going to score at the three inch point and again at the six inch mark. So it's my front, my back and my adhesive strip. I'm going to turn it into the, uh, into the other direction. This is uh, extra thick whisper white by the way, I'm not sure whether I said that. And I'm going to score it at one inch. A very, a very good score, Let's do that one again. One inch and again at four inches. And I'm going to turn my card back and turn it over because I want to mark where I'm going to be cutting. So there's my, I'm going to cut at one inch and a half, one there, and four and a half inches so that I, I've quartered that line. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to come in with my snips and I'm going to snip right, that part and this part and cut up here and I'm also going to um, just take little wedges at the bottom there which we'll just have it put together a bit more neatly and I'm going to take this away and I'm going to shape it uh, using my big shot so I'll be right back. I uh, just want to show you how I'm shaping the top of the favour box. Uh, I'm going to do a part cut with a circle die and uh, what I've done is I've chosen a die that uh, I can thread my card through and I'm just arranging it on my cutting platform to where I want it to be and what I'm going to do is when I put this through my big shot I'm only going to cover the plate that far 
so that it doesn't cut this part of the card. So I'm going to go do that and I will be right back. As you can see I've shaped the top of my box and now I'm going to put in the, um, the crease lines for the fold to bring it all together. So I'm bringing in my silicone mat which happens to be one from my kitchen and I'm going to be joining that corner and that point together with the score line. And the same thing here. And again. So I've basically created one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. And now I'm going to fold along the score lines that I've just made. And let's take off the tape that I've already put on the adhesive strip side. And see how the box is going to come together. So all that remains now is to decorate it. Now I'm going to make the bodice. So I've cut myself a piece of the regular Whisper White card which is two and three quarters of an inch square and I'm going to cut off a section that's one and a half inches and I'm going to put that on one side just for now and I'm going to take the piece that I've got left and I'm going to cut from corner to corner so that I get two right angle triangles. I'm going to flip one of them over so that they stand up like that so with the other piece, I'm going to mark that. I'm going to use my group paper and I'm going to make a, a mark on the, the halfway point and I'm going to join corner to that midway point. So that's going to be my bodice and I'm going to run those through my uh, through my big shot using my texture boutique I put that the wrong way up and this is the elegant dots texture boutique so I'm going to make sure these pieces are in that way so that I've flipped one of them over because if you don't it won't work out correctly so I'm going to go and do that and I have one that I've done earlier here and they come out looking like this so these pieces will go onto the side of the box so let's go and put them on now with a little bit of a bit of Tombow some texture to the box and this one will go on the other side oops stick still okay now this is my bodice piece and I've got a piece of pink pirouette for it's going to be the it's going to make the neckline and I've just used that as a template top of that 
So I'm going to cut that. Cut that out. Let's put that one side for the moment. Now, this piece that I cut out, that's going to be the neckline of the dress. And I wanted a sweetheart neckline. So I've got my sweetheart punch. And I'm going to feed my card in so that only the top edge of it is inside the punch. Okay. And how, much, how deep a neckline do we want to give it? Try to get it even. I think that's about right. And oh, I don't move. And, push. and then that goes on top of that. liquid glue because it gives us a little bit of wiggle time. There you go. No, 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 no. Paper. And that. It's going to sit level. And again, just centre it by eye. Mm. And we're nearly finished. Right, so for our finishing touches, I've got a piece of real red card. And I'm just going to cut out a couple of the Bitty Accents flowers. The original one I made used rich raspberry. This time we're going to have some real red for a change. And I'm going to do one of the petite petals. I'm just going to shape those a bit with my fingers just to give them a little bit of a little bit of dimension. And where's my glue dots gone? Here they are. I'm going to touch these with some glue dots. Because you could use, you know, you could use the liquid glue, you could use whatever you like, but I haven't like the glue dots. I'm going to put one base of her frock there and this one goes next and another one of the small ones just here and just to really zhuzh it up a bit we'll add some um, we add some pearls some of our basic pearls the centres of the flower. So we'll have a, one of that size for the bigger flower and we did use the smaller ones, the, ne the middle sized ones, the next smallest ones for the bitty flowers. Let's try not to put it on the bit where I, I I smash the glue. Right, so for one final finishing touch, which is a touch of luxury, and possibly if you're making a lot of these, probably you wouldn't do this because you would need an awful lot of them. But I want to use one of our new metal rimmed pearl accents. It's easy for you to see. So these can, they have a that whoops in the center of her bodice and now all I have to do is close the box up
there she is there's the finished box now on the back you could put a sticker with a sentiment um, with the you know the names of the happy couple and the, the date of the wedding onto the back of the box um, or you could stamp a sentiment if you wanted to any of those um, now she you know she's a bride she's going to need a groom so that's going to be the next tutorial that I do so keep watching uh, if you missed any of the uh, any of the measurements then by all means please do go and visit my blog there will be a direct link to this project below the video uh, so for now thank you for watching and I hope I'm going to see you again soon goodbye now